विकास स्टूडेंट हैज़ प्रिपेयर्ड अ वीकली स्केड्यूल फॉर हिज एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन ही हैज़ टू स्टडी फोर सब्जेक्ट्स मैथ्स फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड इकोनॉमिक्स ड्यूरिंग अ पीरियड ऑफ एनी सेवन कंजिव डेज ही विल स्टडी मैथ्स एंड फिजिक्स ऑन फोर डेज ईच मैथ्स फोर डेज फिजिक्स फोर डेज केमिस्ट्री ऑन थ्री डेज एंड इकोनॉमिक्स ऑन टू डेज ऑन सैटरडे एज वेल एज संडे हिल स्टडी ओनली वन सब्जेक्ट सैटरडे एंड संडे एग्जैक्टली वन सब्जेक्ट ऑन वन ऑफ द वीक डेज विच स्पैन फ्रॉम मंडे टू फ्राइडे विच मीन्स मंडे टू फ्राइडे आर कंसिडर्ड एज वीक डेज एंड वन ऑन वन ऑफ द वीक डेज हिल स्टडी थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स one of which is economics on rest of the week days he will study two subjects each and some additional information is also given he will not study any subject on three consecutive days and he will not study economics on two consecutive days he will study both maths and chemistry exactly once in a week on the same day so let's consider the <coughs> grid in which it is given that he will study chemistry on monday maths on tuesday physics on wednesday economics on thursday chemistry on friday and there is no info about saturday and physics on sunday so let's consider the let's consider Mon monday be the day when he studied three subject and one of those subject is economics so on monday he will study chemistry economics and one of the subjects will be out of maths and physics suppose it is maths and next day also it is maths and it is known that he will study maths on four days and he will not study any subject on three consecutive days which means he cannot study maths on wednesday so he'll study maths on the remaining days like thursday friday and saturday so consider he is studies maths on thursday and it is also known that he studies or will study maths and chemistry exactly once which is monday already there which means he cannot study maths on friday therefore fourth time he will study maths on saturday now so we have got entire info about the maths now come to other subjects chemistry and economics he is to study economics on two days and these days are monday and thursday now come to physics he has to study physics on four days which means on tuesday he will study maths and physics on th thursday he rather wednesday he studies physics which means the last time he will study physics on friday because on thursday he cannot study physics as exactly once on week days three subjects can be studied so last time he will study maths on sorry physics on friday and from here we get he will study chemistry on wednesday so that is the entire arrangement he will study three subjects on monday these are chemistry economics and maths 
मैथ्स एंड फिजिक्स ऑन ट्यूजडे फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री ऑन वेंसडे इकोनॉमिक्स एंड मैथ्स ऑन थर्सडे फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री ऑन फ्राइडे मैथ्स ऑन सैटरडे एंड फिजिक्स ऑन संडे इट इज नोन टू अस दैट ही इज विल स्टडी एग्जैक्टली वन सब्जेक्ट ऑन सैटरडे एज वेल एज संडे सो ऑल द कंडीशन आर वैलिड हेयर नाउ कंसिडर द सेकेंड पॉसिबिलिटी वेन ही कैन स्टडी केमिस्ट्री इकोनॉमिक्स एंड फिजिक्स ऑन मंडे एंड फ्रॉम हेयर we can say that next time or if we talk about maths then he studies on maths he studies maths on tuesday next time it has to be wednesday as there are five days that we have on four of these five days he'll study maths so these four five four, four days would be like first two consecutive days then there is a break of a day and then the last two consecutive days so he'll study maths on wednesday and then on friday and saturday but after that we would not get slots for physics because in that case there will be a situation when physics would be studied on three consecutive days which means the only combination of three subjects that he can study on monday is chemistry economics and maths and after that we'll have the arrangement that we have got now consider he studies three subject on tuesday and these subjects are maths that is already given economics and physics it may be chemistry also that will consider later now consider the cases for maths in case he studies maths on monday then he cannot study maths on friday as it is given that he is will study maths and chemistry exactly once in a week which means he'll study maths on thursday and saturday and accordingly he'll study chemistry on wednesday physics on friday so that is the possible arrangement when we consider any other subject on monday which is not possibility because if he were to not study on monday then physics would be studied on three consecutive days sunday monday and tuesday which means he'll have to study maths on monday given that he studies maths economics and physics on tuesday the second possibility here is that on monday tuesday he studies maths economics and chemistry in that case all the conditions would not be valid and the last possibility when he can study three subjects on a day is thursday when he he studies economics in that case we'll get economics physics and chemistry on thursday
physics and chemistry on monday maths and economics on tuesday and physics and maths on wednesday chemistry and maths on friday and maths on saturday as well there is no possibility of three subjects being studied on wednesday because in that case he'll study economics on two consecutive days which is not possible as it is given in statement second so these are the three possible cases so let's move to the question in the first question it is asking which subject does not he does he study on saturday it is maths in all the cases maths is studied on saturday which subject does he definitely study on tuesday let's check it on tuesday in all the possible cases he studies maths which means option rather there is no fixed subjects that he'll definitely there is a maths he'll definitely study on tuesday which is option none of these because in the other three options maths is not given let's let's move to the next question in which it is asking which of the following statement is or definitely true first statement is vikas will study both maths and economics on at least one day yes in all the possible arrangements this is certainly true so this has to be our answer but we can check the other statements as well vikas will study both physics and economics on at least one day this is not required vikas will study both chemistry and economics on at least one day this is also not necessarily true which means a statement a is definitely true in the last question of this set it is asking on which day he could have studied both maths and physics from the given arrangement it can be seen that these days could be either tuesday or wednesday but only tuesday is given among the option therefore option b is the correct answer